Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I am going to just show you all the stuff that I have for the girls, like their leashes. <laughs> well, it's barking out there. Um, their leashes, collars. Uh, I have bandanas for them, so let's get started. So I have a lot of bandanas, so that is what I'm going to go through first. So the first bandana I have in here is this naughty or nice bandana that we got from Pet Trader. So this one says naughty with a little Santa hat and then on the other side it says nice also with a little Santa hat. So, no, you wanna sit? Come here, sit up. Come here. She's been a little camera shy right now, do you wanna see? So, we only got one of those so it's fit to her. She looks adorable and it. it looks really cute against her fur. Can you see? Thank you. The next thing I have is, these are actually headbands, like something that I would wear like in the winter to keep my ears warm, but I got them as scarves for them because it helps them calm down. Like if we go to somebody else's house, this actually relaxes them. So Lola gets the purple one, Malibu gets the pink one. You see? And they just, we had to give her a calming treat because she was getting a little anxious. So she looks really, really sleepy right now. Yeah. Good girl. So they wear these especially like it's cold. I know it's weird, but we'll put them over their ears because um, they always shake whenever it's super cold in their ears because their ears are so big they have water in them when it's raining or when the car. Come here. Not come. I know. You see, baby. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you like this one, huh? This one's your favorite. So the next one that we have, we have matching ones for her. Can you see? Good girl. We have matching ones for her and Lola. So we got these little ones. Grishik. The next bandana we got is from Pet Trader as well. It's a little ghost hunter one that we got for the Halloween box. We actually got two of them. I don't know if they sent us two by accident, um, but we got a little one and a big one so they both can wear them. The next one that we have is this pink one and this is actually the first bandana I got Malibu because I got Malibu before we had Lola and she just has this little pink one. I think it looks adorable on her. Pink is my favorite color on her. Good job. And then the next one we have is a 4th of July one. We actually have a few of these. My mom got them for us as gifts. So, I think that's it. So we have two American flag ones for both of the girls. And then we have this kind of paisley print one that's got white and blue pom-poms. So I, I normally put them in these two, but sometimes we'll put them in both of these if we want them to match. And then the next ones we've got in here, we have two Christmas ones. And so they have, they're actually really big. We need to fold these in half, but we have... This one that's got little Santas all over it. I think this one was the one that we were going to use for Lola. And then this one has little reindeers and snowmen on it. So this is the one that we use for Malibu. I won't put them on you anymore. But that's the one that we got for her. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. The next ones we just got, we actually haven't had them wear them yet. But I think they'd be absolutely adorable on them. Is we have these two little kind of like sailor ones. Uh... They're pink and white, or kind of peachy and white, and I think these are absolutely adorable, and I can't wait for summer to put these on them. The next one that we have is this little one from Pet Trader as well. It is a Thanksgiving one. It says, got my mind on turkey, and my turkey on my mind. So, this is really cute for them to wear for Thanksgiving. Um, the next one we have in here is, they had this little uh, Love a Pit Bull Day, and downtown where we live so we took them to that because both of our dogs are pits um malibu is a pit boxer mix and lola is just a staffordshire pit bull so we took them to that and they had like all these like food brands there like the blue like, blue buffalo so they had bandanas that are giving out and food samples so we got that from that stand and then the next two bandanas that we got i think they're the same 
yeah, they're the same. So the vet where we live, we have the Olympia Veterinary Specialist Emergency. And we got two of these because they gave us two little goodie bags because um, we have two dogs. So we got these and then we got some other um, like information on how to treat uh, just like common things that they would have. And they would have like emergency pet uh, magnet for our fridge. So we really like those. And then the next thing I have, I bought for Malibu's first birthday. Cause she's a year old. It says, or what does it say? It just says, it's my birthday with a little cupcake. And then... The next four bandanas we also got at the Love a Pitbull Day downtown. So these bandanas aren't the kind that you would tie around um, your dog's neck. They actually have a little pocket on them and your collar just slips in to it that way. So I actually really, really enjoy these ones as well. We have this pink one for Malibu. We have the purple one for Lola and then we have Seahawks and Mariners for Seahawks games because we also have a jersey for each of these so whoever's not wearing the jersey gets the bandana. So that's all of their bandanas and in here we just have a few other things. We have their leashes or these are the harnesses because they pull and so we don't like it to choke them so we put harnesses on them. We do have pink for Malibu, purple for Lola. Um, we have little socks because this also calms them down when you go to other people's houses. We just put the socks on their feet and they don't run around anymore. So we keep these. They only wear them if we go up to other people's houses. We have two of these. Um, they actually don't wear these. I just bought them because I thought they were adorable. Um, they... Come here. <laughs> you are a goober. Come here. <laughs> yeah so she does not like it that's why we don't like to wear them we only we took pictures in them but we don't leave them on them for long because i don't like them and i feel bad so we also do have these ones these are for halloween um we had a pumpkin which they don't mind this one because you can loosen it so it doesn't feel weird and then this one lola wore as a baby but it's too small for her now but we keep it just because it's cute if we foster a dog for if we have them, if we adopt them, they can wear this as well. We do have a spare leash in here because uh, Lola used to be a big chewer, so we had to get them metal chain leashes. So we have this spare. We have a spare doggy bag holder. Uh, we have Christmas collars for them that they just wear um, for the holidays. These are kind of cute. This one's Malibu, it's got bows and bells, and then Lola's has a bow and some little bells in it as well. The other thing that we got from Pet Trader that I actually really, really like, it is a dog harness. I think it goes this way, and you clip your leash to it, and they can carry their food or water or whatever. Um, this one also has a spot for little doggy bags. You can pull them out that way so you don't have to have an extra one on your leash. So the next thing we have, and we do not use them, but we will just slip them on their necks um, at nighttime because they have lights on them. So this one's Malibu's. We just bought Lola a light, but they're choke collars, but we don't use them as choke collars. We just use them to slip them on them at, as at night for safety because these are reflective. So it has her little light on it so that we can take them on walks at nighttime and they can be seen. Um, we have two sets of antlers. Malibu actually doesn't mind the antlers. <laughs> she acts like a goober in it. Malibu, look, come here. Oh, you're so good. But they actually wear these. We took a lot of pictures of them this Christmas. They thought it was adorable. We do have these itty bitty antlers as well. They, I think that's Lola's hair is a little too small for her, but she doesn't mind. And then we do have, along with the birthday bandana, we have the birthday hat. That Lola. <laughs> you look so cute, Woochie. You're so cute. We have that one. And here's the other set of antlers. And we do have leg warmers for each of them as well. Two per dog. So two and two. They actually went with these hats. The next thing I have in here is a collapsible water bowl for when we walk them. Clip it to their leash, bring a water bottle so they can always be hydrated. We also got this bag from BarkBox or Pet Treaters as well. And in here, I believe 
we have Lola's old leash that you can see she also annihilated. <laughs> so we have this one as a spare. Not broken yet, but we didn't want her to keep chewing it and get free. We have Lola's collar from when she was a baby, if that tells you any indication how much bigger she got. This was her baby collar. Um, we've got four slip leashes for that we got from the vet when they got fixed. So they're really nice if you just want to throw something on to take them outside or if you want to... We see stray dogs sometimes and we'll use these to help capture them and um, bring them in. If we don't always have a leash, we keep these. Um, we have two baby collars from when we fostered dogs. We just used this to identify them because they looked exactly the same. But they were different when we were fostering them. So we used these to tell the difference for when they were getting adopted. And then this is Lola's baby harness, if that also helps. So this is her harness now, and this was her baby one. She grew a lot. And then the last thing I have in here is... Malibu's baby collar. This was her very first collar and this is where I got the pink from. Um, somebody picked it out for me and this is the color that she's always had. So thank you guys for watching. That is everything we have for our pups and we'll see you next time.